Sometimes I get all tense when I have to do it. Well, then that's your problem, Lieutenant. We have to do something to relieve some of that tension. Oh, be careful, man. I won't touch your neck. Just relax. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's a real relief. What I wanted to ask you, ma'am, would you have gotten this new job in charge of West Coast production if Mr. McAndrews hadn't been murdered? Go on, ma'am. You're not hurting me. No. I don't think Mark would have given me the job. May I ask, ma'am, why you say that? He never mentioned it. Now, the fact is, he never mentioned it to any of his executive staff. But you were his main assistant. Perhaps Mr. Flanagan had objections. Well, I don't mean to pin you down, ma'am. But it was Mr. Flanagan who gave you your promotion. Yes. But it's not a permanent promotion, Lieutenant. Remember that. Well, Mr. Flanagan told me that it would have been okay with him if the murdered man had given you the job. And it was Mark's decision. I hear those little voices going around in your ear, Lieutenant, asking, could I possibly have miraculously murdered Mark for his job. Oh, no, ma'am, I don't think that at all. You were up in the projection booth. And I don't think people kill people for just a job. Even an important job like yours. A little lower down, ma'am, if you don't mind. Mm. Either there was no motive at all, like in these crazy kind of murders that you read about in the newspaper, or there was a very good motive. One that makes terrific sense. And that's what keeps going around in my mind. Motive. No, I couldn't think those thoughts about you, Miss Freestone. Not as long as all you had with Mr. McAndrews was a business relationship. Well, I'm sure you've checked that out with the executive staff, haven't you, Lieutenant? Not by choice, ma'am. I wish I could help you, Lieutenant. You have, Miss Freestone. I'm going to try sleeping tonight without this thing. Well, then, if you'll forgive me. I've had enough of my olden times. Yes, ma'am. How do you like that? I almost forgot again. That item that I found on the victim's desk. The one that I lost? Well, I found it again. It was a slip of paper. Like a note that he was making to himself. Some numbers in the capital letter K. Take a look at this, ma'am. Maybe you can help me. You see the capital letter K? And the numbers 280... 450 oh, with a circle around it, 240 oh, and 230. Oh. Now, the K with those numbers, does that mean anything to you, ma'am? Not a thing. No. You see, the numbers part, I think that they form some kind of a pattern. I think they got something in common, and it's right on the tip of my tongue, but I can't put my finger on it. You can't help me. Sorry. Well, thanks a lot anyway. What's your first name, ma'am? Catherine. But they call you K. Yes. And there's this capital letter K on the note. Yes. Does that ring a bell, ma'am? No. Nothing at all? No, no help at all. In this case, the K must simply be a K. Just one more thing.